Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome to my YouTube channel. <coughs> Today we are going to discuss about ethics in engineering research practices. So in previous uh, class we discussed about uh, ethics in engineering research, it is just a continuation topic. Oh, okay. So as we discussed in the previous class, uh, the ethics are very important. There has to be clearly uh, no clear ethical rules which is set up by the universities, college, organization or the governments or even the countries. So laws are there to make sure that ethical guidelines are followed, ethicals are nothing but added values. So these are the things we have discussed, right. So ethical issues are very important in order to conduct uh, the proper research, right. So it should not be like uh, uh, the credit has to be given to those who are actually who deserve for it. So that is why we are having the ethical issues. So uh, specifically uh, we discussed about uh, the British Royal Society that is in 17th century that was uh, back in uh, that credit goes to there where the it is not that if two persons have done the discoveries. So obviously the first person who submits the research will be having the hold on it or credit on it. So that is what we had discussed in the previous class. The same thing is concept similar concept but here a different approach we are going to use. Okay, utilize. So, in that first thing we are having the technological developments, <coughs> right. So, ethics in engineering research practice we are talking about the techn technological uh, developments which raise a whole range of ethical concerns. For example, when the new technologies come into picture, obviously a lot of ethical concerns will come, to, come into picture such as maybe the privacy issues, okay, as we discussed in the previous class, privacy issues will be there. So, for example, I have created my data. I have published my data and that data belongs to me, that is a privacy. And then data related to surveillance systems okay. and also so engineering researchers need to make an ethical decision, we need to make an ethical decision and we are answerable for the unintended consequences which are born going out of the outcome of the research. When you are talking about, so th those are the, uh, whatever we discussed in the previous class, we discussed about ethical issues related to our publications. So here we will be discussing about ethical issues when you are doing, conducting the research, right. So if your uh, research is giving some unwanted results or uh, if it is harmful to the human beings or if it is harm to harmful to the, the environment or maybe uh, the uh, all those things okay so that has to be taken care of. so there also the these things will come so it's not that the researchers has to has planned it and uh, they got the bad results it's like because of the some research you are uh, getting the unintended the consequences because of that this thing so you should be answerable for it and always try to minimize the impact or harmful on uh, whatever the uh, harmless it is creating, the results are creating. Now the results that ethics matter in data used in re uh, engineering research is usually because there, are, there is a human impact or impact on human beings. So a certain practices, practices are then may be acceptable to certain people in certain situations, but we should make sure that the reasons for the unacceptability may be perfectly valid. So, in some cases, some in, in some situations, the particular reasons might be accepted or might not be accepted. If it is not accepted, or definitely it will have a perfectly valid reason for it. So, we have unprecedented, unprecedented uh, access to the data today. That means we are having a lot of uh, information with respect to the data, which is un, uh, unprecedented options for analysis and a number of options are there for analyzing the data of these data and consequences in engineering research related to the such data. So these all are the data which we, we can have uh, because of the <coughs> enough, uh, lot of a number of data is there. So we can analyze those data and with the help of that we can identify the consequences in engineering research which are related to the particular published data or maybe the scientific data. So are there things that are possible to do with this data? Yes, it may be or that we agree we should not do it or we should not do. For example, engineering ethics gives us a rule book. It tells us how to decide what is okay to do, what is not. So we have to draw a line there. If I am getting these results, if that is harming, that has to, should not be done. <coughs> Excuse. 
All right. So engineering research is not <coughs> work in isolation. Now, right. So to the technological development taking place, it has to be the researchers make many choices. It's not just isolation or has to be it has to be like this way that way and all <coughs> they should have many or choices so researchers do have many choices or make many choices that matter from the ethical perspective and influence the technical aspects also or you can say the effects of technology in many different ways <coughs> so choices of research that affect the technology we are having a lot of choices the first thing uh, uh, the three things we can discuss the first thing is uh, first choice of our researcher is that by setting the ethically right requirements that means for our particular research what are the ethical requirement that has to be set it clearly right so by setting the ethically right requirement at the very outset and engineering researchers can ultimately influence the effects of the developed technology so next we are having the influence so this influence the first one is what ethically right re requirements have to be very outside right the second thing is influence the influence may also be applied uh, maybe by the researchers okay maybe through the designs what they are designing or it can be a process that translates the requirement into the blueprints and then to the fulfill those requirements so during the design process what happens the decision is to be made right by whom about what the priority in importance of the requirements how important these things are how they these things will differ taking ethical aspects into the consideration <coughs> so thirdly um, engineering researchers have to choose between uh, different alternatives right fulfilling fulfilling the similar functions so th that is very important the third thing is they have to choose different two alternatives fulfilling similar functions so that we can go which one is the best ethical practice or uh, which one is giving them best ethical values so that has to be chosen so research outcomes often have unintended and undesirable side effects that is that happens in most of the researchers so it is a vital ethical responsibility of the researcher to ensure that that particular hazard or maybe the some risks which are associated with his result with the technologies that develop so what that whatever they have developed so that has to be minimized and alternative safer mechanisms need to be considered definitely if you are doing something if you are if i am doing something in you know, a research and if i am getting the uh, output something and if that result if i notice that it's very risk or it has got a very risk or hazard or something we we have to try to minimize even though there is a huge requirement for that information or about that result in the society we need to minimize the risks or uh, the uh, hazards which is which is is exposed to so if possible the design should be made inherently safer okay such that they avoid dangers or come with safety factors it has to be more safer so that's it next topic we are having types of research misconduct we'll discuss in the next class